Hello everyone, my name is Solar and this is Solar 3D Studio channel. This Abacus lecture is about how to uh, apply internal pressure on pipe and analysis of the stress distribution. So you could use this simple yet beginner and useful simulation in many cases and as always do not forget to subscribe turn the notification on and like this video if it was helpful for you also share your thoughts and comments below the video so i will answer it as soon as possible so let's don't waste the time and move to the simulation okay let's start the simulation as always we start by creating the model database and we usually start uh, with standard explicit model so the first module is part and we start from here okay let's just use real names in every step of our, our simulation we use 2d planner shell feature and 200 approximate sizes okay and we use the formidable type I think based on our problem this is 10 and this is 50 if I'm not mistaken okay let's move to property I'm gonna use steel classic three. 0.33 let's create our section we use solid homogeneous steel great and assign it to our part let's move to assembly great let's move to step we are going to use a static general type we are not going to change anything. Uh, we use defaults, but you can change it based on your preference and your simulation. So let's move to load. We are going to have a pressure for this side of the pipe. I think 200 is okay. Here you can see the contour of the pressure. Let's move to mesh 2.5 or 1.5 is better, yes. Okay, let's assign the mesh. As always in this section, I say this is not the most accurate and uh, the best performing mesh I want. Because the focus of this tutorial is not on how you perform accurate mesh, so I highly recommend you to see my mesh play meshing playlist when I add it, and you could use the tutorial of meshing instead of using this type of mesh. Okay, let's move to job. I will run the job and I will come back with the result as soon as it was finished. Okay, the job is finished and let's see the results together here is the deformed pipe okay here is the stress contour which is caused by the internal pressure that we applied you could use this simulation for different kind of applications um, it is a very useful yes beginner simulation but you could use it in many many applications i hope it helps you as always do not forget to subscribe turn the notification on and like this video because your support is a must for our channel thank you so much see you in the next tutorials